Hey YouTube, truly exclusive here, and um, today I'm going to be doing one of my mini videos coming out, which is going to be MW3 tips and basically camping spots for MW3 survival mode. Um, as you see in this video, I left one person alive, and I used him as kind of a crawler. He just chased me around the map while I got everything I needed and then let my um, newly gotten sentry gun kill him. Um, I was using sight of hand, I had quick revive, no body armor, five claymores, the flashbangs, the grenades, and I did not have a predator missile because it was early in the game and I didn't feel like I needed one at this point in the game. So um, basically let's get to you know what's going on. So here on the map in France, I do believe it's called or Caden or wherever. Um, not Arcaden, but anyway. Um, so I placed the uh, five claymores I had, two in the room I'm in, and three covering my backside. As you can see here, I move my um, sentry gun to make sure if the juggernaut decided to come in that it wouldn't destroy my century. As you can see, I took the Type 95, sprayed the headshots at him while utilizing my flashbangs. So, um, on this map, I say for survival solo, or you can do this in twos too, um, have a century gun facing out of the window, make sure that before the round begins, you are always in that room. Because towards the end of the video, I show you guys what happens if you are not in that room when the round starts. Um, so you'll see that coming up soon. But for right now, um, you know, I kept placing down claymores, which I suggest you constantly do. Another thing is to keep one alive constantly, so because this um, may put you in a bad position being here. You know, it's all it, the middle building. It's also good to control, but I find this a little bit easier, a little bit better. Um, if you just play very passive, meaning, you know, you don't just constantly rush out and, you know, challenge them, even though, you know, the round's going to take a lot longer. Um, you can actually be a lot more successful, which is good. So, for solo, I recommend keeping sight of hand, if you can, if not marathon. Um having the type 95 or the mk-14 um two very powerful weapons that kill them and you know relatively fast and you know you don't have to sit there and spray down the sights um for your second weapon either the spaz 12 the spaz 12 is amazing in survival if they get within the range of you you know the spaz 12 is an amazing weapon um um what was I about to say okay other than that, if you don't want to have a shotgun, you can use a um, automatic weapon or submachine gun, and you know that actually helps a lot. Being able to shoot really fast in desperate situations and when they're really close to you, and you, you know, so that's good. Um, I'm just gonna go over everything one more time and give you guys some tips. Oh, not tip, well, yeah, tips and, you know, all the camping spots that I know for this map. So, on this map, like I said, the things you're going to want to have, a predator missile. Predator missile, very important, just in case you get in a situation where either there's a lot of them coming at you and your shields aren't at full shields, or if you're trying to take out one of the main juggernauts that may come in that round, um... They can be very useful for helicopters. I don't suggest using one helicopter because helicopters are um, relatively weak. And if you just play passive and you know shoot them through the window, back up, shoot them through the window, back up, you know just keep letting your shields kind of recharge or you know get your health back or whatever you want to call it. Um, you can actually do pretty good. Um, having sight of hands good because you can reload faster when there's a bunch of them trying to rush to, up to you. You can 
you know, have that fast reload instead of that, like, three second reload, which could get you beat down or make you have to constantly run, stop, run, stop, run, stop, because you have to try to reload. Um, so, make sure to try to have sight of head, or if you don't, use Marathon. Marathon is also very helpful when using or utilizing the camp that camping spot because you have to run a relatively far distance to get to the self revive, the body armor, the sentry guns, all that. And like I said earlier, as you can see here, they spawned in the building. Like, the building that I was holding down, they spawned in it, took out my sentry, and, you know. That's what I kind of wanted to show you guys. That's why I didn't keep, you know, one person alive, which is also very good. Um, you can even keep a juggernaut alive if you want. Juggernauts are relatively slow, and you could just run them around the map and then, you know, go get what you need because, you know, it's actually very useful. Um, another thing is to make sure, like I said, to play passive. Um, as you can see here, I, well, like, I was getting shot a lot, but that was only because I was lagging myself because I was on the phone at this time. But, you know, play passive, stay back, and you'll get very far, it's guaranteed. Um, it's all about your patience, basically. If you have patience, you're gonna get far. So, 